But in the other hand, legendary marketer is still going strong. Year plus every single year, they're still going strong. And you know the reason why that is is because he's so focused on his business, honestly, right? He's improving it every every time. And I would think that I like about it is that whenever he makes an improvement, he doesn't call it 2.0 or you know or something else, right? He keeps it the same as the brand legendary marketer. And he does the upgrades, right? He makes it better, but it's still branded with the same name. It's not a different program. It's still the same program. It's still the same vision, right? So I think that's what's important. You know, a lot of people try to upgrade the whole program, but then, I don't know, they call it something else, right? And then it's just like, okay, well, you have to make it better. But what if you just make it better and then keep improving it, you know, while you go and you keep doing it, right? I think that's more valuable than creating a, a new different program. Yeah, I think so too. Um, and it's, you know, it's important to note that before Dave started Legendary Marketer, he was successful. You know, he built a business that, you know, there's maybe a little bit of negative press because of his business partner. So we won't dive yeah. into that. But the bottom line is he knew what he was doing. So when he created Legendary Marketer, he had a clear vision of what he wanted to do. If you're just getting started and you're creating your first product, it's okay to shift because you might try something and realize, ooh, the branding wasn't right or the name wasn't right or the delivery of the assets or the training wasn't right. So you can change at that point. But once you get to the point where you have the vision, then yes, you will benefit from being singularly focused on your business, going all in. And like you said, just growing that thing and making it better, improving it, um, yes. but not changing the name. It's not like Apple changes the name. I mean, they give different versions of their iPhone, but they're still just Apple. Exactly. And everything associated with Apple is the same thing they have going on in the Legendary Marketer. It's it's shifted. Content has changed with the times. But the bottom line is it's still the 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 vision that he started with, which is how do you become a Legendary Marketer? So... A lot, lot of props to him, a lot of respect, because uh, it's not easy to do. It's easy to get shiny object syndrome and want to want to shift around. But if you stay the course, um, you know, pretty amazing things can happen after, you know, five, six, seven years. Yeah, and they're they're expanding right now. I mean, they're doing masterminds in new places now. I think the next one in June is going to be in New Orleans. So before their masterminds used to be in Orlando, right? But so now things are going to change. They're going to go to different cities. So it's growing, right? Like it's exciting. They also invite previous guests, you know, so it's like, I don't know, I'm waiting for the invitation, you know, one day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, think, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we drive yeah, enough revenue so anymore to, to be invited. <laughs> I know. Well, the thing that he said on the video was that he, um, he was only going to invite people that were actively promoting it, right, as their main <laughs> offer. You know I mean, now we're, we're, we're way past that. <laughs> yeah, I yeah I still you make know, a few so, thousand bucks a month, but it, I'm certainly not uh, I'm certainly not anywhere near the leaderboards which have been discontinued. So I'm not I'm not holding my breath for yeah. my invite. But if he, of course, if he asked, I, I'd be there in a second. But uh, 